Top of the morning, family. It's your main man, Dame Drops, back again with the best and worst rated restaurants right here in my state. Now, on Friday, we covered the best pizza restaurant, and boy, oh boy, did that one go down. But it's Monday, Monday Madness, and it's time to ugh, go to the worst rated pizza restaurant in my state. Let's just go ahead, slide on over to Yelp, read some of these reviews. If you're new around here, stay true around here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Psh, Dame Drops is back again. But what I like to do is I like to slide out to these restaurants regardless, good or bad reviews, have my experience with the food, customer service, price points, all that good stuff, and then come back and then type my own Yelp review based on my experience, good or bad. So sit back, relax, and comfortable. Let's read some of these reviews. Ooh. All right, uh, uh, they, they ain't no new reviews, but it's the newest according to you up five star. Great pizza, true to the craft. Got sauteed onions instead of raw onions, cooked on pizza, but the overall experience was absolute. All right, all right, all, right. all wrong, one star. I ordered on the app and selected the Bristol, Connecticut West End pizza, but somehow it was sent to the Harford one. After my husband went to pick it up at the Bristol location is when we found out it was at the Harford one. I called the Harford one and the manager was rude. I have never ordered through the app before, but he cut me off and said, I recognize your voice. Then he hung up on me. I called again so I could speak to the manager and the same guy answered claiming he is the manager. I asked for the owner's contact info and he refused to give it to me. Then he said, you wasted my money and time. I have too many people to wait on. Then how do you have time to memorize voices? All I wanted to do was ask if my order could be canceled and refunded to my car so I don't have to drive to Harford. I will make sure to tell all my family and friends to not go here since the service is crappy and the manager is rude. All right, so they have more than one location, Bristol being one of them, but we are going to the Harford location because that's the one with the lowest amount of stars. And um, rude management, huh? Hmm. Let's keep reading. Next one, one star. Ooh. I ordered for delivery through the website. The food came to my surprise. It is not anything like what I ordered. I ordered a pizza with only veggie, mushrooms, peppers, onion. Delivered was a pizza with some veggie plus sausage and pepperoni. I also ordered a cold cut combo. On the website, it clearly stated that all grinders come with lettuce, tomato, and the choice of cheese. So on the site, the only choice I have is to choose the type of cheese and the size, small, medium, or large. Delivered was a blackened burn bread with no lettuce, no tomato. I called the restaurant and inquired as to why my order went so wrong. To which the person in the call said, if you do not tell us you want lettuce and tomato, we don't give you. And we don't burn grinders. I asked if his driver could come back here and inspect it for himself. Next, he hung up on me. Yo, we all know it's the same manager from the last review. I called back and asked about my supposedly veggie pizza. Turned out to have two meats in it. He said, we don't make mistakes. You must have ordered wrong. I told him to look at the order on his end and offered to show him my online receipt. He said, I don't care. I then asked to speak to a manager. Then he raised his voice. I am the effing manager and owner, you stupid. Yo, woo, with a bit of an accent before he hung up on me again. I would definitely dispute this charge for my credit card, claiming I offered the restaurant to make things right, and but the manager slash owner became verbally abusive to me. I threw the pizza and grinder in the trash as I would never eat anything that comes from such a horrible people. Wow. Ouch. Family. Definitely sounds like the same type of manager. I hope we run into this individual. Please, family, please don't don't mess up my order, son. I on the phone. I'm I'm in your face, baby. We, we can take this there. We can take it there. Sorry, y'all. Let's read this next one. One star. Be very, very cautious if you order from here. I ordered a turkey panini last night, and the meat was spoiled. It was made on a pita and nothing like a panini. I called back and asked for a refund on the sandwich, and the guy said he'd do it. He never did, so I called back today, and he pretended not to be the same guy. Then admitted he was and said he wouldn't do anything. Super shady. So shady business dealings, probably the same manager, B. Probably the same man. Like, we about to slide over to the spot because apparently they can't do nothing right with the food. Hopefully, hopefully, our pizza game is proper. But by the read of things, looks like we might hit another bump in the road. 
I appreciate y'all. Love y'all like soul food. Thanks for rocking out with me on this journey. I think we're on season eight right now, man, and you guys have been amazing as always. Let's get ready to slide over to this. What is West End Pizza? West End Pizza in Hartford, Connecticut, and uh, see what it's really hitting on. You know what happens next, don't you? Cue the music. <laughs> Check how we moving with the vision in mind. I'm low side with my on division with slime. Been making plays, I'm finna dish them a dime. I feel my pocket vibrating, that's your on the line. Uh, check how I'm living with the vision in mind. Ah, damn, son. Those reviews are so bad, y'all. <laughs> Only thing left about pizza up off over here is absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? This was $4.95, Farmers and Ave. I mean, they are right next door to Sisson Avenue Pizza, but they don't open till much later, if at all. But this right here was the original pizza spot, the West End Pizza. But don't worry, because about 10 minutes from here, there's another two rated pizza spot <laughs> that we could slide to. I think Sisson Avenue got like three ratings or whatever, like three, three and a half, but no, no, we want them twos, baby. So this went from a two to a straight goose egg. So let's go slide over to ABC Pizza where it's another two-star rating, you know what I mean? All right, fam, so <laughs> unfortunately, we couldn't hit that last location. Uh, apparently, that manager slash owner then talked himself right out of business. Doesn't matter, because Hartford's not quite like New Haven. Hartford actually has a number of bad pizza locations. They got some good ones, but they also have a lot of bad ones. New Haven just has a whole bunch of decent ones and really good ones. So we're about to slide over to this other two-star, ABC Pizza House, out here at 287, New Britain Avenue, Hartford, Connecticut. Let's see what this pizza game hitting on. Three, two, one. Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up I can flip a dog to a million I don't like to brag, but I'm really on Three, two, one Anywhere I'm at, turn the city up Three, two, one I don't like to brag, but I'm really on It's a new day, day's been new Been a decade since I made it out of rent Yo, nice and clean up off over here Now, I notice most spots, like most pizza spots Always have their soda stored and all that good stuff and we're actually right next to a fire station. So I wonder if the firehouse employees just walk over here and order the pizza. They probably do. That's Food Truck Row by Trinity College. Like up that street, mad food trucks. Yo, won't hold you, man. My man, the front counter, great attitude. I like the vibe. Not too sure why the rating is so low. We read but one little quick review about the spot, but we'll see what it's saying. And I try to order the exact same type of pizza that I got from Frank Pepe's just so we can we can have a nice little comparison. So I did order a white pizza with clams, with pepperoni. Also got garlic bread with this one as well. Uh, it's an extensive type menu, unlike with Frank Pepe's. Frank's just kind of focused on the pizza. They had salads and stuff too. This spot is more about, you know, the pizzas with specialty pizzas. You can even get about a slice and get some calzones, appetizers, sides, special salads, uh, wings. If you want to get with wings, like I said, I got the garlic bread, pastas. Italian specialties. So they do kind of like a little bit of everything. You got the hot oven grinders you can go with, little coupons on the side, uh, Greek specialties, desserts. So ABC Pizza, man. Best pizza in town. Just to let y'all know, we do not have the Fox and Park activity over here because we're on Hartford. And that's more of a New Haven thing, being the fact that Fox and Park's out that way. Not too many spots know about it, but this next best choice, Pineapple Crush. I know how to get down, baby. Let me go ahead and get poured up real quick. Now I'm over here looking at both the white pizza with the clams and pepperoni and my garlic bread. Get a little sip rock of the crust, you know, wet the whistle just a little bit. Mm. Now first, let's catch the visuals on the garlic bread. But what I did do is grabbed up on that marinara, you know. It doesn't look really thick and chunky, but it does look well seasoned. And let's give it a little shake. All right. So a little liquefied marinara, but that garlic bread does look light on the bite with the crispy edges. 
fam, we like that. That joint looks like it's been made right and tight. Let's go ahead and grab up a little joint, hit it solo dolo before we dip it. Mm. Garlic butter from somebody mother. Mm, that joint good. Mm. Mm. The dough is nice and like, almost as if they flipped that dough fresh back there. It doesn't taste hard in the boulevard. And the garlic's not too deep rooted. Just a nice little sprinkle, right? With wild butter on the dough. And crisp. I'm talking about crisp buttons. This garlic bread is banging, if you know what I'm saying. You get up on that marinara. Oh yeah, get, get saucy on him. Get saucy on him, baby. Oh, you wet. A drippy, drippy rock rock. That's a different type of marinara right there, fam. Get a little garlic, a little Parmesan, salt and pepper, tomato sauce. Can't be tomato paste, because tomato paste, we think it's definitely tomato sauce, liquefied the way it is, but it's still decent. It's still good. Mm -hmm. I could rock with that the long way. I won't even hold you. What is this pizza hitting on? What does it do? I just went ahead and pulled out the, the pizza sword, the pizza knife. And uh, let's see. Okay. Got that mox going hard on the boulevard. Again, those clams right there. I, I don't know, family. I had that white clam the other day. Let's see if these clams are any good. Plenty of pepperoni on that slice. Definitely greasier than a pizza from the other day, but it's to be expected. And we do not have that New Haven uh, Napolitan style, Napolitan style, where it's like more on the, the brick burnt oven side. This one right here might be a conventional oven. But what's hell when we finally get to that, that crust? But let's go ahead and hit this thing. Yep, let's get to that crust. Crust is definitely decent. Nice little crisp to it. Again, it really comes down to a preference. Me, I just love a crispier crust, but this has a nice little crunch. Nothing too wild, nothing too crazy. Clams, they just don't have that fresh bite to them. You know, you're gonna get a little chew for the most part. And that pepperoni is downgraded just a bit from the pepperoni we had the other day. It's not a horrible pizza whatsoever. This is definitely a borderline fine. And it might be for some of you. Some of you are looking at that like, damn, I can get down with that program. And you're absolutely right. You probably can. But once you have fresh clams, it's hard to take in anything else. So uh, let's go ahead and slide the yolk and talk about our experience here. All right, fam. So you already know the vibes. You know how I felt about ABC Pizza House. And like I said, good and or bad, it is always this time to go into Yelp and break down my personal experience. Even if a spot gets two stars, one star, or five star, it might not be that for me. And be that as it may, I gave them a full piece. Let's talk about it. I am impressed to say the least. We started with being disappointed because the original worst rated pizza restaurant that I read about was actually closed permanently upon arrival. And that was West End in Hartford. And so the next two star location was ABC Pizza House, which is located next to a fire department and across from Trinity College. I was hit with a warm greeting when I walked in, and as I looked around, you can tell that the team here takes pride in their establishment for it was clean throughout the restaurant. Sure, there were a few stacks of soda in the next room over, but they were even neatly placed, and so I felt comfortable eating here. Now, this is supposed to be a comparison to the best rated pizza video that I had shot the other day, and so I placed the same order, white pie with clams and pepperoni, and it was not exactly a night and day situation, but the clams weren't as fresh as they were from Frank Pepe's. They definitely used different clams for the taste was off just a bit, but not necessarily the end of the world. The pepperoni was your average run of the mill style that provided flavor and the mozzarella wasn't half bad. The crunch in the crust is what I always check for and they did not fall short there. Now overall, 
This pizza falls in the three star range for me, but it was the customer service that took them up a notch for the three and a half stars, which in turn must be rounded up until we arrive at four stars here on Yelp. You can tell the management team here reads their Yelp reviews and have been putting in the work to provide a better quality of food here and service to their community, and I love that for them. So much so that I plan to reach out to see if I can help them with some promotional videos to help get the word out that they are really listening to their customers and want to show them the changes being made. That's major for me, fam. That's big for me. Like if I can go to Yelp and I can see that people are visibly upset about something, be it customer service, the quality of the food, the establishment itself, and then when I get there, I see like the changes. I see things are different. Customer service, A1 from day one, right? And the quality of the food has even been upscaled. Like to me, that's an establishment that listens to the people. They haven't really received their fair shake. And as food influencers, and there's plenty of us out there, we should be able to go back to these mom and pop establishments and see what we can personally do to help them, to help get the word out, to get people to come back and try them, right? To see what's changed and, you know, to help them be profitable again, if possible. So that, that's what I plan to do. And I think I'm going to start using my voice more so to do that for a lot more mom and pops out there. And I think it's going to make a difference. Either way, thank you for watching. Thank you for being part of the Foodie Fam. I greatly appreciate every last one of y'all. If you don't mind, yo, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Psh, Dame Drops is back again. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow with another video. Come on, you know how we do.